In this video, we finally got some good weather, so it's time to do a new church promo video. Hey guys, this is AJ. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let me get down these steps. All right, so how do we kick stuff up a notch and surprise people? And I'm ever since I got my Mavic Pro and then Mavic 2, I've actually been using that to um, present new interesting angles to help make an intro video as well as just catch the church off guard and surprise them with new unique shots that they would normally never see in church. So I made a video maybe about three years ago when I first got a Phantom 3 standard and since then uh, my flying skills have gotten a little bit better and <laughs> the drones have gotten better. So what I want to do is actually make a new video, but then also get a whole lot of new B-roll footage that I can use on our video announcements and then just different aspects of the church. So what does it take to actually do that? Well, I am glad you asked. What I normally do is, like again, I'm not a super masterful drone pilot. Um, what I like to do is have flybys. Um, one of the main things I do is fly far away from the site, line of sight that is, if you are following the rules of flying a drone, um, and then like to have a slow um, pan to the left, pan to the right, past the building, flying over the building, flying to the building, flying away from the building at different angles, and just capture that footage and you got to think of different ways you can actually use that. I was I learned a long time ago, record five minutes longer than you think you should and um, just keep recording because you just never know what you might need right now. You might be using for something later. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm just going to do a couple of um, aerials. Now my Mavic 2 Pro Zoom has some extra built-in features of uh, pre-planned flights and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to use a couple of those. Um, they have like orbit um, to fly around the whole thing. Um, I actually have already used the hyperlapse before on our website and on a bunch of videos. Um, so I'm not going to necessarily do that, but I'm going to try some new stuff as well too. So let's get outside, set the drone up and get to flying. All right, so what's the one of the first things that I'm doing? First off, I make sure my drone is updated, which is what it's doing right now. Oh, it's actually done. So let me go ahead and... Up, oh, it needs another update. So now the drone is updating as well, too. Ah, well, anyway, got to make sure that's important. Make sure all the settings are the same. But while it's doing that... So here is the side of our sanctuary so one good thing is I'll do maybe like a sweeping pan from this direction and just slide by the whole building um, want to do like a orbit around the steeple over there and then that's the old part of the building so what I've normally done is fly in that direction pretty far and turn around actually I'll post uh, um, images from what I did before. I caught it one Sunday with the fog and everything. And it looked like I did it in 3D and added it. But now nah, I really just did that just because I caught it naturally. So what I'm going to do is probably fly pretty far in that direction. And then turn around and then fly towards the church to get a direction from there. About maybe 250 feet in the air. Probably fly in that direction as well. And then probably fly around the back of the building in the front as well um, whenever my stuff decides to finish getting updated oh well, maybe you gotta press the update button that would help now one problem is they've changed the flight stuff here in the direction there is an airport about 10 miles in that di in that direction it looks like they've expanded the no fly zone so I gotta make sure I'm not in that area because they will not allow me to fly here. The drone will actually say that it won't fly and won't let me take off. So I might have to relocate myself or do something different. 
All right, so I can't update because I'm far enough away from the church that there is no Wi-Fi signal. So that may be a blessing in disguise. Let's go ahead and get it up here and let's go flying. So that was fun um, got a bunch of shots and there's a learning center here so <laughs> the kids came out so I got a bunch of video with the kids as well so that's gonna be interesting to always use that and I'll probably um, make that video available for our learning center as well for ads or promos for them so let's go ahead and get back in front of my computer and we'll start trying to put something together <laughs> 